Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Trust to Technology. Today I am going to show how to install and configure Windows Server 2022 Core Edition. So friends, in my previous video we have installed and configured Windows Server 2022, Active Directory, DNS, DHCP, many more technical video you may check out from playlist and also you can browse it. So friends, I am going back to our workstation to start this demonstration. So friend, I am in our lab environment. I just press enter to continue the installation. Okay friends, click on next. Installation now. Okay friends, so here is many option. So I am just selecting first one because the second option is showing desktop experience. So first one is the core edition and here is the data center edition, data center edition desktop experience. So I am selecting first one, click on next. Accept that license terms click on next click on custom you can create new drive click on new apply okay okay selecting the primary disk click on next okay it will take few minutes to finalize this installation So friend, system need to restart. So friend here is showing the user's password must be changed before sign in. Press OK. OK. You enter the password. For confirm the password you can press tab. OK. Press enter. OK. Password has been changed successfully. Press OK. So friend, system configuration is loading. So here is the 14 option. And you can also see welcome to Windows Server 2022 standard edition. So friend, first of all, I just change the computer name. So press 2. Okay. So win core. 2022 press enter okay so here is showing the changes will affect after the restart the computer so restart now yes
So friend, press Alt Control Del to unlock the system. Okay, I just enter the password. See friend here is showing as config is loading. Okay friends, so you can see the computer name changed successfully. So friends, I just configured the IP address. So press 8 for network setting. Okay. So see friend, here is showing only one ethernet. Okay. So here is showing index one. If you have more than one ethernet, here is showing index one, two, three. So we have only one ethernet. So I am using index one to configure. Okay. So here is showing set network adapter address, set DNS server, or clear the DNS server settings. So I am just pressing one. So we need to configure a static IP address. So press S. So I am using a static IP address 192.168.184.200. Subnet marks. So go with default because we are using class C address okay so enter the default gateway so in my case 192.168.184.1 okay press continue to enter press enter to continue okay so I just press again 8 to configure the DNS server Okay, set DNS server, press 2, so 192.168.184.100, okay, so alternate DNS, leave it default, if you need, you can just enter that alternate DNS server, press enter to continue, okay, again I just verify, press 8, 1, See friend here is showing 192.168.184.200 Gateway is 192.168.184.1 And DNS is 192.168.184.100 Ok, press enter to Main menu Ok So friend, I just press 4, remote management to enable the ping. Okay, so here is the third option to enable the server respond to ping. Press 3. Now successfully enabled server respond to ping. Press enter to continue. Okay, so I just changing the update setting. Here is swing download only. So I am changing to download only to manual so press 5 so for manual you can press M 
successfully changed. Press enter to continue. Okay. So we need to enable the remote desktop. So press 7. Press E for enable. Press D for disable. So I just enabling. So press E. Okay. Here is two options. One of the more secure and second the less secure. So I am just enabling one for more secure. Okay. Successfully configured remote desktop. Press enter to continue. Okay. Okay. So we need to configure date and time. So press 9. Okay. You just change the time zone. Press here. So I just configure. Plus 5.30 for India, Chennai, Kolkata, Mumbai, New Delhi. Okay. Okay. So time is changed. Okay. So here is. So option number 11. Windows activation. So press 11. So friend here is showing three options. Display the license information. Active window. Install product key. So friend we don't need to activate this window. So I just display the license information. Press 1. See friend here is showing 180 days because I am using evaluation edition. Server standard evaluation edition. Okay. So press enter to continue. Okay. So it's a time to join this computer to our domain controller. So press 1. Okay, so joining the domain, press D. Okay, name of the domain to join. So in my case, touch to technology.local. Okay, specify an authorized domain credential. So I'm using administrator. Password for this user. Is trying to joining the domain. Okay friends. Here is swing. Successfully join the domain. Okay. So do you want to change the computer name before restarting? No, because we have already changed the computer name. Press N. OK, restart now. Press Y, yes. So here is swing press alt control tail to unlock the machine. So I just press so enter the credential. So friend, I just configure add local administrator. We need to log in this machine by using the domain credential. So I just press 3. So here is showing specify an authorized user. So I am using administrator. Okay. Adding administrator to local administrator group. Okay. Press enter to continue. Okay, so I just verify I am able to log in this, that machine by using the domain credential. So I just log off this machine by press 12. 
13 for restart the server, 14 for set down the server. So I am just log up the user. So press 12. Why? Yes. Okay. So press Alt Control Del to unlock this machine. Okay. So friends, see here is showing. Enter the credential for administrator or hit escape to switch the user. So I just press escape. Okay, here is showing. Select a user. So I am selecting other user. So here is asking username administrator. Okay, so I am using touch. Okay, press tab. Okay, I am putting the credential. Press enter. So, friend, here is loading the S config file. Okay, so we have successfully logged in this machine by using the domain credential. So, friends, thank you for watching this video. Hope you like all the videos. And please subscribe the channel and the click on the bell icon for new updates.